everybody, uh, Peter here. I just wanted to go through my experience with uh, CXL surgery. So um, today's day three after the surgery. So I had it on Friday afternoon and today's Monday. It's Monday morning right now. Um, so I guess I'll just go through kind of the steps and the processes day by day and how I've, I've found the progression so far. I mean, I'm only three days in, so um, it hasn't been too crazy. But um, so I had my my procedure at the Bachner Eye Institute in uh, Toronto, and the ophthalmologist who I saw was a gentleman named Raymond Stein. So uh, day of, I show up there at one o'clock. Um, I uh, I I take a Valium and I get a uh, <laughs> and I take a Valium and they give me my eye drops. And they're like, uh, this is how you use them. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, then I go see the ophthalmologist for the first time because. When you show up at Bachner, they don't show, they, you don't meet with the ophthalmologist the first time, you meet with the uh, consultant. So um, he went through my records with me. He said I definitely had keratoconus, but he said I had a good shape. So um, his goal was to just maintain the shape of the cornea and not to smooth it out, which I, I imagine some patients have with more um, like advanced stages of keratoconus, which I didn't have. So lucky me. Um, so... I meet with the ophthalmologist and I go upstairs to the surgery room. Um, I lay down. The doctor, uh, he's only in there for a few minutes and all he does is re remove the epithelium. So he, it's about, it takes about five minutes to remove it for both eyes. So he removes it. Uh, kind of an uncomfortable situation. Like, I mean, it's like a, I mean, it's like he's like scraping off like the top of your cornea. So like it was very, it was a nerve wracking more than anything. You couldn't feel it because of all the numbing drops and the, and they, the, the pain meds they gave me. So um, that was uncomfortable, but like definitely bearable. And then for the next half an hour, I was with the, um, I was with the, the registered nurse. Uh, his name was Carlo. And he's a really good guy. I, uh, he basically just put um, like these, these little riboflavin drops in my eye for, and then put the UV light over. So it was like riboflavin, UV light, or sorry, riboflavin, UV light on one eye and then when he was finished that eye he went to the next eye but i think he sold the uv light over one i forget but anyways uh so we do that for about like i don't know 20 minutes half an hour i was chatting with him the whole time so it's not super like intensive and um i mean it's, it's definitely nerve-wracking but um it was it was bearable so anyways finished with that um i go home uh the first like two hours i felt like i felt fine uh in terms of like i guess the drugs were still like in my system so they they uh I, I didn't feel terrible or a lot of pain um I felt a little like a little bit of sensitivity to light but not a ton um and then I took an Advil took a nap woke up and was in a lot more pain so it's probably about two or three hours after the surgery uh so I laid in bed I had my glasses on I was trying not to take the pain meds but uh, eventually I got pretty pretty tough um I, I say the pain was it wasn't like unbearable. Like you definitely could like fight through it, but um, it, it, it was, it, it definitely, it's pretty uncomfortable. Like, um, and your sensitive light, I couldn't, my, my eyelids are swollen shut. So I really couldn't see much. And when I did open them up, like the light just killed me. And uh, it really, it was really good burning pain. So I, they gave me Tylenol threes. Uh, I took one and I took another nap. And when I woke up, I, I, it was still in my system. So it still hurt, but it just didn't, it wasn't like unbearable. Um, and then it was getting worse and worse throughout the night. And then I took the sleeping pill they gave me and I was out, um, for like eight hours. I woke up at nine the next day and I felt, uh, I felt fine. Like I was a sensitive to light still, but I, I didn't, uh, I didn't really have any more, any more pain after that. So, uh, that was good. So they have a, a series of eye drops you have to take, um, for the next like week or two. So, um, I have to take anti-inflammatory for two days and then I had to take the, the steroid, the antibiotics for a week and then the steroid for, I'm going to have to take for a week after. So in total two weeks, um, I mean, they're fine. Like they kind of irritate my, my like tear glands a little bit, but, uh, besides that, it's like, it's totally bearable. Um, as for vision, uh, I feel like it got worse on day two. It was pretty fuzzy on day one, but day two and, and now I can't really see much like, um, oh, sorry, I can see, but I can't. I can't read anything like my phone's on full like max font i have to put it like this close to my face to uh to read anything so um that's kind of a bummer you know if i squint and i put it really close i can kind of clarify it but 
um, it's not easy. Like, like there's no way I can, I can go to work. I mean, I work at a, I work in a finance company, so, um, there's no way I'd be able to, you know, stare at Excel sheets and, and answer emails all day. Like it's, it's not like, I, it's not possible. I don't know if the, how much of the fuzziness is because of the healing and how much is for the contact lens that's in, because I don't, I'm not sure if there's like a, if there's any distortion because of the contact lens. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll find that on Wednesday when I go for my, for my my second follow up, I had a, a follow up the day after where they just went in for literally ten seconds, looked in my eyes and said, "Yeah, you're good," and then kicked me out. So um, I'll I'll try and give an update on that. But um, besides that, it's not that it's it's not like unbearable um, unbearable pain. Like I feel totally fine. Um, I haven't done any exercise. I'd like to, but I've I've been told not to. So um, I'm not, I'm gonna wait till Wednesday until I get the contact lens and to see the doctor again just to see if I'll. Uh, if I can go exercise and work out a little bit, but I'm not planning to go back to work until uh, the following Tuesday, so a week from tomorrow. So hopefully my vision's back um, because I really can't read, and it's very, it's also very like, very like uh, foggy, right? So one funny story: I was cooking uh, on Saturday night, and uh, <laughs> I had some rapini in the in the frying pan, and I think it started smoking, and uh, I didn't see it. I couldn't see it because I, I guess it just looked everything looks kind of smoky, and the fire alarm went off, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it was fine, but I thought that was pretty funny. I was like, I couldn't even see. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like the whole situation. Um, I have my recommendations for the, the you know, the, the, the days that you're just having a tough time with your vision. Just I already crushed the whole audio book. Uh, 12 hours of that <laughs> it was it was a good book um i listened to a whole bunch of podcasts uh i went for a walk i'm gonna go for a walk after i finish this video because it's nice out um but it means really bright like it's just there's a decent amount of sun out right now so um definitely need the sunglasses but yeah yeah it's not it's not the worst procedure i'm hoping my, my vision gets back somewhat to what it was before uh and within the next week so i can go back to work and i can also get back to like playing squash and like having fun and like not worry about my eyes but um yeah, we'll see. Uh, so if you're getting the procedure done, good luck. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, be relaxed about it. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a shout. I'm, I'm happy to answer them. Take care.